Good morning and welcome back to Sam Shut Farming. Every other day life on the hill farm. For anyone that has just joined us in the channel, thank you for subscribing, it means a lot. And I'll just give you a quick overview of who we are and what we do. So we're fish generation farmers. We started building up 15 years ago, could be 16. And uh, we set off, well, all of us set off with a few mules, 10, 15 mules, something like that. And now we're on a rented farm, 10 year tenancy. So we're five years into it on a hill farm, 500 acre altogether. Um, a thousand sheep with followers, could be 1100, somewhere in there. 35 suckler cows that are calving at the minute and <clears throat> four children. Four and a half, shall we say. <laughs> so we've built up over the years. Them sheep are annoying. They think I'm feeding them and I'm not. Uh, we haven't had any help. My, our parents don't farm. Well, all of us farms, but he doesn't really get on with his dad. Um, his mother farms, but we've had no help. My mother's a seamstress and my dad's a wagon driver, as you've seen in my previous videos. Ari shut off in sons. I've worked on my uncle's farm since I can remember, since I could walk with my granddad and grandma. They've taught me all I know. My uncle's taught me everything I know. I do learn from Oliver, but he's not exactly a, a teacher. But uh, you get to know him as time goes on. I still don't know how we're going to set up for lambing, but we have a clue this morning. Look, pens are going up. So we must be having it like it is, pens in the middle. It just doesn't tell me. <laughs> he's, that, he's that type of man that just keeps his cell to his cell. And you have to read minds, yeah. So everything you see on this channel is uh, self-made and self-earned from the farm. Nothing's coming elsewhere. Oh, they're annoying. We're trying our best to make enough just to get by. And at the minute we're struggling. <laughs> We used to have bed and breakfast pigs. Now they were really helpful. We knew when money was coming in. So when you're a beef and sheep farmer, you only earn, your income's only once a year. Compared to dairy farmers, they get a monthly check. So beef and sheep farming on a hill farm is quite hard. So this is what my channel is all about. Um, Self-made farming. Yeah, from nothing. So I hope you enjoy. Another big one. Oh. Nearly. Well done. Just had to stop it then because the uh, calf bed was wanting to come out but Oliver thought fast and let it out. It all went back in. What a man, he knows what he's doing. Oliver has just loaded um, one of our bulls, take him to Adam Berry, hoof trimming man. He's uh, at the neighbors at the minute, so. He's gone to trim it because it's a bit lame. We, we tried to tackle it ourselves a little bit and it did get a little bit better, but it needs a foot trimming man just to sort it out. So he's just loaded that up and taking it over there to, for him to fettle it, which is handy. Grand day, bit of warmth. Hopefully the grass might grow a little bit. We'll just have a look at these calves, see how they're doing. 
Oh, looks like he's had the load all at the crush again. I wonder if there's another calf. I've just gone to get a couple, a couple of pet lambs. Oh, that's another one. Grand job. I don't know how many we've got left now. That's the twins that belongs to her. Simmental Cross. She's a calf. The one we carved last night that you saw is over there. Can't see, but it's up and sucking. And that's her calf, so yeah. Doing all right. I think there's one left to carve. I'll have to have a workout what's left, but there can't be so many now. Just want to check on that sw Swaledale, Swaddle, I call them. See if it's doing okay. Seeing as I filmed myself putting the bed back in, which I needn't have done. I needn't have showed you. Um, but I just, this channel, I'm wanting to show you everything involved in farming. So the things we do to help animals, we, we do everything we can to help animals. But I just, I'm showing the realities of farming, good and bad. Where's she gone? I think she's here. Oh, hey girl. Hmm. Are you feeling okay today? She had a bit of water. She's walking. Hmm. Where's that uh, mule? I did a mule, didn't I? Where is the mule? Where's she at? Oh, that's where she is. Oh. Hmm. Well, the point to my story, we tried our best. And obviously it wasn't good enough. Oh well. Oh well. That's another for the knacker fella. Nope, well that's the third triplet now that's died. Hmm. Dodgy. Just got inside. I wasn't here when my Asda order delivery came and Oliver had to unpack it. A little quiz question for you. I'll show you my Asda order. I want you to guess how much it cost me for this order. Right, I'll show you. Hmm. Hasn't he done well? <laughs> oh, God. Right, guesses. How much has this Asda order cost? Hmm? Let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll let you know who the winner is. <laughs> God. Just bedding my calves. Last night, we carved that cow. I had to turn it off because she was going down in the crush and um, I couldn't just stand there and film. Uh, calf bed was coming out. And um, but as soon as she got stood back up, it all went back in. So, yeah, thank goodness for that. Eh? Because she had a difficult birth, like it. It was getting stuck at the hips and uh, it made her want to push more even though it came out and all the bed was coming out. But Oliver acted fast and he opened the crush quickly. She stood up and it all glooped back in. So we kept an eye on her. God, straw gets everywhere, doesn't it? We kept an eye on her um, that night, last night and this morning and through the night and she was okay, so. Ah. God's on our side. Yeah. Right, I think that's enough. Yeah. Go get them bedded. I'm just feeding the sheep now. Daily antics, people. Routine is key. Routine is key. At least she's eating cake, is me swaddle. Ah, good.
thing that annoys Oliver that I have learned. He likes them like that when I put the bags in, not like that. So I'll just turn them around, save the hassle. There we go, babe. No worries now. <laughs> just landed back with Bull, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. This is the bull that this is the bull that they're carving to. Oof, look at the length on him. Look at the length of him. Oh. Get this one out. Hey Billy. Go on. Go on. Get in. Good lad. Was there much wrong with him? A stone. Right, good. Go on. Such a long bull is that. Yeah. And they're all carving to him now. He's during May. Yeah. Yeah, I know a little bit. Oh, I thought you knew everything. No, I don't know everything, no. Not everything. That's your department. <sighs> not gonna... Oh, not gonna lie, that was... Oh, not nice taking this off. Oh, that stinks. Ooh. Sharing is caring and all that. Are you eating each other's cleaning? Eh? Yeah. Having to give this little calf some milk. It was all sprawled out this morning, like it had been stood on or something. So I'll just see if she wants a bit of milk. It's the heifer calf off the twin. Yeah. Come on, calf, sit up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I have to put the silage trailer on, so that's what I'll do. my brake pipe that slots in there and that's my uh, pipe for lifting it up to tip it and that goes in Ooh. one of these I haven't a clue about hydraulics I know one's sort of flow and one's out I don't have a clue What's her return? Is it that side? Or that side? I haven't a clue. I'll we'll just pop it in there. Oh, it says here. No, it doesn't. Anyway, it's in there. It'll be wrong. But Oliver will check. I haven't a clue about pipes. I wish I'd known. I do ask him, but I never get an answer. So Don't know where he wants it, so I'm just going to leave it here. Now I have to go for some... Them rushes that we get for nothing that someone's given us just down the road I'll go for a couple of them beautiful day
this is where our muck goes if you look on my spreading muck video this is where I loaded from it's all cow muck and I think that over there right at the back is pig muck so that's uh, gold dust after cropping before cropping sorry <coughs> I'll shut these gates behind him. Must be a car coming. Ooh, close one. Thank goodness for insurance. I think I'll leave it there for today. I'm giving you an extra video this week because I'm busy, busy. So uh, I hope you can like the video, share it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, do what you can. Subscribe, that'll be fantastic. Well, and I'll see you. You're not taking that net wrap off that bill. And I'll see you for the next one. Oh, there is a little bit extra. Right, tomorrow's a busy day. Fetching sheep home from wintering. So, that I'll be bringing home. Well, I have the kids, so I'm not sure. But it's a busy day tomorrow, so I might as well get two videos in this, an extra video in this week. Right, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.